What gamers? We like games. We play games because we're gamers. We've got jobs. We've got lives. This is our hobby. Wait, what? Okie dokie. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to rumble. Now, I'm not quite sure how I want to do this, but I think I'm going to finish up the rest of these levels before I take on Bowser himself because he will kick my ass. Let's see. We're going to get these all to all but the last star of the level depending on which one is the most difficult one to achieve. And okay, looks like we're going to Tall Tall Mountain to start things off. This should be fun, folks. We'll cut straight to it. For such a gigantic level, this one has a very small entrance. So apparently there's actually, like, glitches and hidden things that I never found as a kid. Even though I was super exploratory and able to find just about everything, there's something I missed, and this is the perfect level to showcase what it was that I missed. Let's see, we're gonna... Make the camera do a camera thing here. Okay. Ah! Camera sure as heck did a camera thing there, didn't it? Wow! Thank you! Try and get over here. There. Mario, quit edging. That's for later. You saved the princess. She's gonna watch you, so don't be doing it now. Okay, mysterious mountainside. This is one of the funnier levels designs because you kind of get this uh, Inception vibe going. Cause, ah, oh hey, look, there's one up here. What up, bitch? I got a one up, bitch. Yeah, here we are. This thing. See, it's a painting within a painting. Now, it's, uh, apparently, if you do this, if you hit all four corners, a freaking one-up shows up. I didn't know about that one until recently. I knew that one was there. Now, this is like the frosty slide. Holy crap, we're just racking up the one-ups, aren't we? Ding! Fries are done. This is where the hundred coins come in. You have to get them in here. And hopefully you don't get them on the freaking slide. It looks like half the stage's coins are in here. So I'm going to be doing this later when I come back for the hundred coin star. I do love this music though. Bingo! That star is easy. And you saw there's another one up down there. <laughs> These later levels feature a lot of one ups. Back when we go. Okay, breathtaking view from the bridge. I don't remember how to do this one, so it should be interesting. That's Blast of the Lonely Shroom, and that is the last level, so we will say that one for last. It'll actually be quite quick once we get things set up, but it is a pain because you have to time a gust and then you have to grab a ledge. And then when you're doing that, you have to then hop in a cannon. Let's see. That's three coins. Essentially, the Goombas offer three more. The uh, Shy Guy offers about three more. The red coins. And 
and I don't exactly remember where Breath Mount taking view from the bridge is at in this level. Apparently those things are an enemy that has a name. Oh look, there's three more Goombas. Give me your HP. Come here. Everyone knows I hear the damn monkey from all across the mountain, so that's a glitch everyone's aware of. And that's like a long-standing glitch in the game. And there's a couple points there. So there's that. Now, if I remember correctly, this isn't just a random block generator. Ow! Don't grind, Mario! Ow, God. Bless America. There's a bomb for Blast of the Lonely Shroom. Alright, let's do it again. Hypersonic this time. Piano slide right there, folks. And we are back. Now, let's try not to grind this time, since apparently that's what that glitch is called. I missed the jump. All right, we're just going to cut there this time. Oh, there's a glitch. Now I'm getting mad. Oh, there's another one. Okay, got it. Here we Sheesh. Go. Yes, spit me out, you stupid painting. And that brings me up to the last mushroom. So we're going to go ahead and continue on to, which one is it? Tiny Huge Island. Which is not that one. That's Snowman's Land, which did I get? I got Snowman's Land up for the last one as well. I think one of these toads has the stars. I think I've done this before, folks. But some of these toads have a secret star. Nope. Oh. That was the right door, ladies and gentlemen. Oops. Memory does not serve me well because it's... It's old memories. <laughs> from about 10 years ago. That was the last time I really played this game. Hardcore. Let's keep it moving, folks. Oh. Let's go. Yeah, this, this one. Okay, that almost didn't work. If you can't tell, I'm trying to land on top of the uh, item box. It allows for rapid access to up here. That's another mission for another day. I don't remember where a rematch with Koopa the Quick actually takes place. Chuck, you go away. Oh, carp. Carp, 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 carp. Um. Now you're probably wondering why there's water here. There's a reason. We'll see it later. Ah. Where's this lousy coop at? 
Well, that's the finish line, so he's over here somewhere. If I were I just was. Shy guy, you wanna blow off? Ow! If you ground pound, they give you five points. Watch. Okay, here's Cooper the Quick. Now he cheats, so we're gonna need to have to do this a couple times. But guess what? We can kind of cheat too. If we don't get bouldered all the time. Now this part's kind of tricky right here. Because of the wind. All right, let's try that again. I got enough lives to do this. Cutting to the next race. As long as I don't get bouldered this time. Don't get bouldered. We just have to maintain our lead. Can't win, can't long jump here. The wind will blow us backwards. And flawless victory. <laughs> yeah, Mach 1, yeah, right. Give me that sweet star chime. Here we go. Okay. Only took two tries, folks. That is tasty. Alright, next up. I'm always just gonna go in the small island. It's easier to start from. You can scale it faster. Let's go. Probably the best, actually. Oh, here's another secret you don't realize unless you find it out. Ow! Yeah, that. The old one up. Oh, another thing about micro goombas. They apparently can persist underwater. I kind of forgot about that one. Go away, flame. Ah, come on. You guys ready to watch me crush Koopa the Quick? <laughs> That's a bit sadistic, I'm sorry. You gotta know where these secrets are. We can just walk over the fence. Now there's two more. Oh, 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 oh. That fish turns into a giant fish that tries to eat us. Hey, since we're here, let's open up the cannon. Without getting ignited. Come on, flame me. Flame me while I'm in the water, asshole. Thank you. So I can talk to the bomba about going flying off the ledge. There, cannons open without me getting lit on fire. So, we'll go to the final one, which I know where it's at anyway. I was heading for it earlier, and I kind of bailed to get the bottom one. Okay, there's an invisible barrier there. Forcing me to kind of crawl along this thing. I can't think of any other way I'm supposed to traverse this. I can run across it, but it's kind of annoying, so crawling is a safer alternative. The animation walk cycle for that's kind of silly. Okay, this is actually quite easy to get to. We come over here, barring the camera going stupid. Ok, 
Okay, we come over here. What's with everything trying to flame me? Yeah, okay, we gotta follow these out. As you can see, there's a single coin out here. Ugh, and I think it's above a teleport spot that takes us back if we accidentally go out there and get lost. I think we're on... Yeah. This is actually a giant island start point, but eh. We've been doing tiny island to begin with anyway. Really good at this jump. I would crush Koopa the Quick again, but I just don't feel like it. That moment you don't feel like crushing your enemies. Must not have a mega crush. Wow, that that pun was painfully old. Okay, there's a regular size Koopa down here. We kind of need him to get up there. Come here. You are the tool for my vindication. Come here. I believe this particular Koopa can also go underwater, so... Ah, I'm going to have to slide tackle him, apparently. There. I'm playing a soccer. Camera. So this little tiny walkway on the small island that housed one of the secrets also houses this level's red coins. So this one's difficult. At least it was as a kid. It's like they're right next to each other. It's a lot of platforming. Now that's a wriggler up there. Which will be uh, when we get out the next star, if I remember correctly, is... Hmm. It's Wriggler. We piss Wriggler off and then we have to fight him. Let's go. Wait, why did I come to the small island again? Whatever. I'm getting good at that. Cool. Curse Splat. Hey, watch this. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't remember. Does this does this work? Nope. No one up in there. Apparently there's a one up in a tree outside of the castle, but I've never gotten to it. I didn't even know it was there. I've never <laughs> climbed the tree. I wasn't one for reading the instruction manual. I learned as I went because games usually held some sort of in-game tutorial. Oh, Okay, we're just gonna get the red coins here. No taki. Just coin touchy. Mamma mia. Let's uh let's go touch the big painting. Let's go. Sploosh! Yahoo! 
There's a big birth out here that'll eat us. Wrong lack of two, but whatever. Come and get it, Koopa. Okay, let's try this again. Not trying to use the kick to gain altitude. Ah, Bob, sag it. All right, well, let's try this a different way. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Remember how we activated the cannon earlier? Well, this is part of why it's activated. And that tree, that's our grab point. This is to mock me for my failure, so let's continue down, shall we? Where we won't get eaten by a big Bertha. Can you not continuously flame me? Remember one time I accidentally fired into the shy guy and I kind of went spinning off of him and it was, it was really funny. It was good fun. It was good fun. Yeah, that's what the tree is for. Oh, there it is. Nope. There it is. Come to Papa. Yep. Like I said, these later levels have a lot of one-ups in them. Because there's a lot greater chance for error. They're a lot harder. Also, when the camera goes full retard upon entry. Nope, forget it. I'm, I'm saving that one for later when I do the montage of the last 15 stars. I hate this level simply because it's really just infuriating. Because it's like, if you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. And it just kind of borks you over really badly. Hey, come on! I'm not bad-mouthing their level design. I'm just saying this is one of the most difficult courses. Especially with the Chuck yeah, being right there. And the camera being extremely unresponsive at times. Oh. Um. <laughs> I did that wrong. That sound effect, though. Go to the horizon. <laughs> there, that's what we need to do. So we're going to beat the boss before I do the red coins. Let me up. I want upsy. Thank you. Oh, camera. How dare you. Here we are. Now let's see. 
I don't remember if I just had to pound body segments or if I had to hit his, its head. Ow! Linguini breath, eh? Gotcha. So this is one of the more interesting bosses because it shrinks down to a normal size and then depending on where it falls through, it just kind of chills out. Now if I beat Wriggler a little closer to say the Shadow Star, it would have just stayed there, wriggling and walking around while I got, while I waited to get the star. <laughs> waited for me to get the star. It doesn't have any animation. Make Wriggler squirm. Okay, how long have I been running considering I'm probably gonna cut about half of this? Oh. Well. Let's go take a look at the next level, what the last one is. And, uh, oh, tick tock clock. Let's see what the next star is, and depending on which one it is, I may or may not continue and just have the last star of the episode be in tick tock clock. So let's find out. Boom. Okay. Once more, my childhood, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the land of nostalgia. The pits and the pendulums. Let's go. Uh, I don't remember this one. Huh. I don't know how much of this episode I'm cutting, so I hope that I have enough time for this this piece. I may just wind up running long. I don't know. Me run long? What? Never, never, ever have I ran long in the history of my YouTube career. I've never ran long. Oh, carp. Ooh, almost got crushed there. Okay, I think it's beyond this one. Those things always remind me of circuit boards, but that's probably because I played that stupid Captain Crunch tie-in game all the time. Get all the crunchium! And you had to like jump up platforms to beat the boss. Come here, one up. I do not like those things at all. Okay, we're set. Game, set, match. All right, that's the last star of this episode. We gathered six of them so far. That's not too bad, considering we've almost cleared all the levels. Uh, I'm gonna take a break because I'm gonna have to clear TikTok clock and uh, I'm just gonna call it Rainbow Road. And uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna keep on clearing things and we're gonna keep on running, folks. So thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from me. Uh, don't forget to check out the multi-platform monarchy listed in the down below. And above all, have a good night and good luck.